Hi there, this is Jennifer with Brome Fields, and today is day 87 of our 100 Days of Knit Stitches, and today's stitch is the Brioche Cable Stitch. Back on day 80, we learned just the Brioche Stitch, so it does have a different cast on or a setup for the first row, so you'll want to go back to uh, video 80 to view that, and I'll leave a link down below to that video. Um, I'm going to show you the row before the cable. So I have cast on 16 stitches and I have four stitches on either side that are just garter stitch. And then I have eight stitches in the middle for the brioche. So you can alter this pattern uh, or stitch however you want to, uh, to make something of your own with it. So I'm using Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick Yarn and size 11 knitting needle. And you will need a cable needle. In this case, I am using a, w, uh, a double pointed needle. <laughs> and it's wooden, so it kind of grabs the stitches a little bit more. I need something very stout. Uh, this is a tight cable, so Let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to knit the first four stitches. And then we're gonna start our brioche stitch. So this is this the row before the cable. So we're gonna hold the yarn in front, slip, yarn over, and knit two together. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So that's a brioche. We're gonna do that brioche stitch. It's four repeats, but it's a total of eight stitches. And then we're gonna knit those last four stitches. And then I did a little bit of a cheater uh, cable um, marker here, stitch marker. So I put it on row 12 and that's where I did my first cable, but I'm actually going to do 16 rows in between each cable just to give it a little bit more space. So this was row 12 that I did the cable on. So then we did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we're getting ready to do row 18. So I'm gonna knit that stitch and then I'm gonna place a stitch marker on there. That way I can count between the rows easy easier than starting all the way back at the beginning. So every time I do a cable row, I put a stitch marker and you could just move this one up to the next one. That way you always keep the, the one below it on. So the next time I do a cable, I'll just move this one up. So then I don't, I only need two stitch markers. So now we're ready for the cable. So we're gonna knit those first four stitches. They're just the garter stitch. I'm going to leave my yarn in back and my needles in back. So I'm leaving all that in the back because we're going to cable forward. So we're going to take one stitch and that is just one stitch. It's a brioche stitch. So that's, so that's one, two, three, four stitches. However, there's one, two, three, four, five, six loops on there, but it's really only four stitches. So we're gonna take those four stitches off and lay them in the front. And then we're gonna continue doing the brioche stitch. So I want my yarn in front. I'm gonna slip yarn over. So one, two, three, four. So we knit those four stitches. I'm gonna pull my cable through so I don't lose those stitches. And this is very tight. 
So don't want to lose any stitches here. But we're going to cross that. And oops, not going to knit. I'm going to put my yarn in front. Slip as if to knit, just doing the regular brioche. So that's one, two, three, and four. That last stitch here is very challenging. Oh, get closer to the edge there. I don't want to drop it. I'm going to slide those over. All right, so that was the cable and they are, it is tight. That's why I wanted some, a little bit more space in there. This is a nice, super chunky, super bulky yarn. So it does make a bit of a tight stitch. So then we're just going to knit these last four stitches for the garter stitch. All right, so we have our stitch markers on there. So we know where to start counting. So now you just do the brioche stitch. So the, the row before that, you'll repeat every row until your next cable. So I think that, what was that, from 12 to 18. So I had 18 rows here uh, between that those two cables. And I like that. So I think I will do another 18 before and get a good picture of this. Um, yeah, that looks nice. So that is very interesting, uh, kind of twist to a cable a little bit different. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's new stitch and I hope to see you guys again tomorrow. And thank you so much for watching.